Hello. So I wanted to share you guys one of my biggest passions in life right now. I've been really, really, really into planning lately. And well, actually for, it's coming on a year. Like I think I started kind of getting into it around November of last year. But I wanted to show you guys like a flip through of my planner. I don't know. I just, I've been getting questions lately about planners and I'm so excited because I love talking about everything planner. I live for it. Something you should know before I take you through a flip through of my planner is that I'm a decorative planner. Now for me, as someone who struggles with anxiety and someone who has a very creative mind, decorative planning is a win-win for me. I get to be creative. I really get to put my mind on something and focus and it really truly helps me with my anxiety writing down things ideas plans goals anything like that that i have for myself writing it down into a planner has helped me tremendously so much so that even when i kind of steer away from my planner and i don't use it my husband trevor has actually commented like you're not using your planner, are you? And I'm like, no, why? He's like, I can tell. And you will see through my flip through weeks where I haven't used it. I'll, I'll flip through the entire thing so you guys can see. But the decorating part kind of keeps me committed to it. And I look forward to sitting down and decorating in my planner. It's not for everyone. It's a can be expensive it's definitely not for everyone but i highly recommend getting a planner if you don't have one because it's really really helped me a lot in every area of my life just having things down on paper and yeah i just can't say enough good things about it so i'll show you the planner i'm using i i have multiple planners but this is my main guy here this is by erin condren and she does customize covers so i just got my name on mine but you can put whatever you want on it you can choose whatever cover you want um the back is the same there's a coil here and you can choose what color coil you want um i chose this one but if you want to get gold rose gold black anything like that i believe that's an extra ten dollars i will leave in the description below a code where you or a link actually i don't know if it's code i think it's a link where you can get ten dollars off your aaron condren planner now if you use that code i think you get ten dollars off and i think i get ten dollars off my next I, i'm not sure how it works i honestly i don't ever promote it like i don't really care but like I'll put it there because I think you guys can save. So if you want to save, you can. I think I get a little bit of kickback from it, but I'm not sure. So whatever, do what you want. But okay. on the inside of the cover is like a dry erase situation. Um, it has this little, I don't know what that is. And then this is the on the go life planner vertical layout. I personally enjoy planning in vertical planners and then I have my name here um, in gold foil oh it's so pretty so when you open it up this is what it's like here now this page here is a year at a glance I use this page to track my periods and to track my migraines because I suffer from migraines and then this is what the vertical layout looks like so I didn't so I have no lighting so I'm so sorry you can see my shadow I know that's annoying this is what a vertical vertical planning looks like um, some people like to separate it into like morning afternoon and night um, so there's that so these I haven't I didn't get this planner <clears throat> until March so all these pages are empty so I started planning in this planner in March of this year before this I was using a clever fox but okay, so I'll take you through my flip through this is my March layout here I won't go into too much detail because I just basically want this to be a flip through this is the first spread and decorative planning you call your things like spreads anyway so this is my first spread that I have in my planner and this was a kit I bought off Etsy you can buy sticker kits that kind of help you decorate your planner so I got this off Etsy um, from Alley Cat shop I'll link her Etsy shop down below she actually lives on Prince Edward Island so anyway 
Okay, nice. so this is the second spread that I did in my planner. I made this myself out of a sticker book from the Happy Planner. These are Happy Planner sticker books. I can't tell you exactly what sticker book I use. Just by looking at this, I'm thinking I use the Super Mom book, but I'm not 100%. But I like to just, you know, so obviously here, road trip, I probably went to New Brunswick that day, I'm guessing. Yeah, so it's just kind of cool. You can find cool little stickers for like groceries or laundry or garbage days and look at the little girl editing and it's just kind of fun. This is a spread I did with a kit from Etsy and this is from Stick With Me Shop. I will also leave her Etsy shop linked down below. I like to track my steps a lot. I've been doing that a lot lately and you'll see throughout the weeks that I do track my steps a lot. Uh, sometimes I track my water, but basically it's just a fun way to write your to-dos, but to have it look pretty. I don't know. So I had life coaching this day. I, I'm doing the Rachel Hollis life coaching program. Um, separate moms. Look at this. Relax. So I have the little guy relaxing and so what's, what did I want to do here? Oh, I wanted to wash my makeup brushes. Like, I don't know. I think you get what I'm saying here, but that's that spread. Here's just a spot where I wrote, wrote down some monthly goals. Now this is the April monthly spread. This is when, April 1st is when I started my weight loss journey. So I started tracking my weight all on the sides there. Um, this is another kit that I got from Alley Cat Shop. Isn't it? I, I think this one's so cute. I'm a I'm I'm what you call a white space planner. I like to leave white space. Some people fill up the whole thing with stickers. That's not really my style. This one here was a spread I did using a paper pad from Michaels. I yeah, I just did that and I used double sided tape to put down the full boxes and I really liked how this one turned out. Now this is I tried to do less decorating in this one. I remember this week a lot and I wanted to kind of utilize down here because previously I covered down there with washi tape or whatever. So I tried a little different style of planning there and I didn't love it. So I came back to <laughs> these are uh, stickers from the Happy Planner. April okay so I didn't finish the week here so I kind of got out of the planner here and look here I try I wanted to use it but I didn't have it in me to decorate and I only had two days there so nothing here barely anything here and then I got back into it in May and this was a kit also from Alley Cat Shop um it was like a I just had a few random stickers from her so I kind of used it like that. This is June. Sometimes Florence leaves me little notes up there on top of my planner. I think it's cute. Here you can see I'm not always into it but that's from the happy planner. I <laughs> I tried but it I yeah never happened that month and then June here these are just stickers from the happy planner. This is a kit from Stick With Me Shop. So I think from here on out is fully decorated spreads, but yeah, so you can see here, I was keeping track of weight and here keeping track of steps. This is from the Happy Planner. This is from the Squad Goals, I believe. I, lo I really love that sticker book. <laughs> this is July. And this is July 1st weekend, so this is Canada Day. And I didn't quite finish the spread, but this is a kit from Alley Cat Shop. I'll link her. This is a kit here that Stacy got me. I am not exactly sure what shop she got this from, but this is an Etsy kit shop. This is a week of Tre er, not Trevor. Stacy and I did together when she was here in Canada. Didn't plan this week. This was actually the week Stacy decorated in my planner. So she got this kit. I'm not 100% sure where she got this one, but this was the, she decorated this page for me in my planner. I love how it turned out. This is another kit that Stacy gave me. Um, so that's that one decorated, it's really pretty. This one is from Stick With Me Shop. 
this was a really cute one. It was a camping theme. Look at the little tent. Here I think I did a list of video ideas in the corner there. But this page here is from the Happy Planner. <laughs> I just love that. Uh, this is from Alley Cat Shop. I love this kit. How cute, eh? We have September, and look at this kit. Oh, stick with me shop also. This was my back to school week. I thought it was, I love how this one turned out. I love it. I used the student and the teacher sticker book by the Happy Planner, but I, I loved the way this one turned out. I love the little backpack, the sneakers, the books. Just, oh, I love everything about this spread. This one here is from Alley Cat Shop as well. This was like her bumblebee theme. It's so cute. And now this is this week, so I'm not done of it yet. So that's just a little flip through of my decorative planner. I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's something I have a lot of fun doing and I thought maybe you guys might want to see that. But anyways, I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.